Welcome back. So, back on the combi today. I'm gonna jump onto the front side and, sorry, and chuck the front arms and bits and pieces in. I got a spare steering shaft I've got to chuck in so that way I can chuck a steering wheel on it and just move it around when I need to. But yeah, just gonna chuck uh, tie rod arms, drag link in, uh, maybe the shift rod if I can get in there properly. Um, yeah, just to chuck it all in there so it actually kind of does its thing and the wheel stays straight and all straight enough. And I'm gonna change this tire because it's flat on the bottom. The rest of it's all pretty good, but so I'm gonna change it for one that's round all the way. And yeah, so I'll take you up on the bench and I'll show you what I got to fit and see how we go filming underneath. Up here at the bench. So, got the steering column. Uh, I'm just going to bolt it on. It'll sit there and flop around a little bit, but I can chuck a steering wheel on this end and steer it around if I need be. Uh, two tie rod ends, oh sorry, two steering arms with tie rod ends on both sides, the drag link and the shift rod. So early models have this little hole in the front which I got a bush for and then the back bolts on. So I'll take these stickers off from where I got it from and we'll chuck it in. So I don't really need to chuck that piece in yet but while I'm there I might as well and also I got the handbrake cables and whatnot and so I might as well chuck them in as well. So let's get down over there, change this tyre, say hello to Gus and uh, yeah get it up in the air. Here we go, wheel off. Got the three piece I'm gonna chuck on first. So, gonna jump underneath. I was gonna chuck the handbrake cables in, but I haven't done the cables into the back uh, drums yet. So if I put them in here, it'd be a real pain in the ass to do up back there. So for now, I'm just gonna zip them up out of the way, just up in here somewhere, just so they're not dragging on the ground and getting all dirty like that. And then we'll chuck these arms in, uh, and drag link. Let's go. There we are. Got those butts in. Got the drag link that sits there. Um, I'm going to tie that uh, brake pedal bitty out of the way. Um, but yeah, steering now works. So I'm going to jump up top. Actually, no. I got the gear shifter linkage. I'll chuck in now. So I'm just going to grab uh, the tools. Up here on the bench, we have gear selector rod. And then we have the new bush that I just pulled out. And so this one just gets pushed into the end of here. So chuck that together. Okay, all good. I cleaned off the stickery bit from this end. Got this end all lubed up, both in there and in the in the bush. When in doubt, lube up. Um, and I was wrong before. It's a uh, eight mil on there. So jump under here, chuck this in, and then we'll find something else next to it. There we go, got it in. A little bit of dicking around, but all nice and lubed up. No play in it. Oh, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> so a little bit of problem with getting uh, this piece over there. So this one go, oh, is a bit of a sleeve, goes up the top, and then this uh, ring clamps them all together kind of thing. And I had a little bit too much paint on here, so I just sanded that off and got it on there. Looking pretty good. Steering's in, looking fabulous. And yeah, so next up, I'm gonna jump up the top and gonna make this bad boy move this piece. So yeah, here we go, up the top. So got my bar, it well normally goes on there and then off that bulkhead through those bolty bits there. 
it bolts on and your steering wheel and it turns but because I don't really want to run any of that just because I'm going to be painting all this area and the floor and stuff like that I just got this one that I'm not using which isn't the one that is for the car which I'm going to paint up so I'm going to chuck it in and that way I can still move it around like it'll put a I'll just put a little bit of bit of rope or something that'll go from around there onto the bar just so it doesn't wobble everywhere but that way I can at least turn it when, the, when it's on the ground and get it in and out of the shed and stuff like that so I've got these two bolts which I didn't tighten up before um, chuck them in there and we get steering <music> So I got all that front end done for now. So what I'm thinking is I need to get the calipers done. So I went and dug them out of the box that they were in, and these are them. So these are later brakes. This one's meant to have drums. But yeah, so you're gonna whip the brake lines off and I can use these to, to mock up my new ones. So for now, I'm gonna pull them all apart, see what they're looking like and give them a good clean. So let's jump into that. There we go, pretty cleaned up. Got the old brake pads, other bits and pieces the spider graveyard going on here bits I'm gonna keep and now I'm gonna crack these four bolts on both and it splits the two halves apart I'm gonna rip those apart now and then I can give them a good bath So happy. So this is the first set over here. The other set was to that one there and this one down here. I've just kept them all separate to make sure the cylinders or the pistons all go back in the right uh, side of the caliper. And all looking really good. Just really all uh, greasy and dirty. So I've got some degreaser here. Gonna chuck it in a bucket, give them all a really nice good clean. And then we can give them a lick of paint and put them back on the car. zipped them all up so they were pretty clean you got a little bit here and there but they're only brakes and they're not going to be really seen behind the wheels i got so i'm pretty happy uh now i've got nice clean rag brake clean and i gotta put them all together bolt them up and paint them so should be looking good for this afternoon to be able to at least bolt these on
Look at that. Two nice, clean, done calipers. Now just time to chuck them outside, put them in the sun for a little bit, paint them up, and let them dry. And then okay, we'll... so brakes are out there drying. I've got them outside. I didn't really film it just because everyone knows what paint looks like going on. But I'm just trying to work out what to do, and I'm stuck with a few bits, so until they're done. I got my driver's door here, and I need to pull it apart so I can start getting body work all lined up and whatnot. So the other one I've already stripped, um, so this will be another video of how to do it with actually filming it instead of not filming it and just showing you an empty door. Math. So just bagged them all up. I've done it a few times, so hopefully I can remember how it works. But that's all there, all pretty good. And then just the door down here. It's all got a bit of bit of uh, leaves and litter and stuff down the bottom. But the rest of the door is really good. So give that a wash out, and we'll call that done. And I think those brakes should be ready. So let's chuck those off. All nice and pretty, ready to go. So I've just untaped them all. I thought I had some brake pads to chuck in here, but the ones I had from a lot, another project, just not the right ones. So I'll order some of them so I can chuck that in. But yeah, when I do, I got... Oh man. All new bits and pieces to chuck in, make it look a bit prettier. These ones are just the backing plates. They're in not too bad condition, um, but I'll probably throw them in because they can't be bothered doing anything else with them because they're just going to get roasted anyway. Um, I've got some bull, uh, bump stops which I might put back in if we've got some time. That one's not even meant to be there. Um, and the sway bar mount. So i got the sway bar down on the floor over there. But yeah, if we get enough time we'll chuck that in. But now, let's chuck them in and see how we're looking. Okay, so I stuffed up. The hubs on here and the brakes from 73 onwards they get bigger calipers and so what you just see me do is rebuild some calipers for anything uh, what is it 70 through 73 so yeah now I need to find a new set of calipers or change the hubs over from the other front beam that I have uh, I don't know we'll see what happens yeah so <laughs> until next time uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, really enjoying these projects and showing them with everybody. It's been a lot of fun so far. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.